And as hospitals across the country prepare to receive that newly approved Moderna vaccine, a portion of Michigan's share is expected to ship out soon. Fox 17's Marisa Overly is live for us tonight at Mercy Health St. Mary's in Grand Rapids to explain. Marisa. Yeah, Ryan, according to the CDC, Michigan is set to receive 173,600 doses of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine by next week with that same amount coming in the month after. Uh, however, we spoke to a doctor here at St. Mary's and he says he's not exactly sure if Mercy Health will receive any of those doses, explaining they only get a 24 to 48 hours notice before any shipment arrives. Uh, that distribution plan for the Moderna vaccine will come down from the state health department. Uh, we tried to ask them which hospitals across the state will receive the Moderna vaccine, but they have not responded to our request for comment. Additional relief now on its way. The Food and Drug Administration authorizing emergency use late Friday for the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Moderna Incorporated in the National Institutes of Health. I think the biggest thing this means for our communities and our hospitals and for me specifically is that we just have more supply. A boost to efforts, says Dr. Andrew Jamison, Division Chief of Infectious Diseases at Mercy Health St. Mary's. Our goal is to kind of get through our uh, highest risk staff really quickly. Uh, get it out into the communities where people have the highest risk uh, in long-term care facilities and then start getting the community vaccinated. So this extra authorization gives us that ability. Jameson says it's possible Moderna's vaccine goes to more rural health systems and outpatient clinics, though, since they may not have the ultra-low temperature freezers Pfizer's vaccine requires. The storage is a little bit less rigorous and there's a little bit more leeway on how long you can keep things refrigerated. But the logistics is all that really differentiates the two vaccines. Jameson explains, like Pfizer's, the Moderna vaccine boasts a high efficacy rate at 94 percent and no major safety problems, only the chance of sore arms and muscle aches afterwards. Both are messenger RNA vaccines requiring two doses between three and four weeks apart. Jameson does not know if patients will be able to select which vaccine they want. I have a ton more confidence in the actual technology because of that, because you have two companies that were doing the exact same thing, uh, the same type of chemical composition and same type of technology, and the results are almost interchangeable. He hopes the general public embraces his assurances. I got vaccinated on Thursday and I feel pretty decent today. So definitely had a little bit of a headache yesterday, but I still worked and uh, ibuprofen took care of it. And today I feel completely normal. There are probably four more vaccines that will be up for emergency use authorization in the next three months at best. Um, and so we'll have to see how it all shakes out. Now, we did reach out to a number of other health systems across West Michigan. Spectrum Health says uh, it does not know at this time whether it will receive the Moderna vaccine as well. However, it does expect to release some information on Monday. Fox 17 will keep you updated on that. Uh, Metro Health and Cherry Health have not responded to our request about uh, the Moderna vaccine and whether they will get it as well. I'm reporting live in Grand Rapids. Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.